Without your memory, you are lost and alone. Everyone is cruel and no one understands you. And yet there are some things you will always remember. Kindness and loyalty. And courage in the face of danger. Standing hard against the wind, a lone figure searches the landscape and tries to remember. <laughs> I will enjoy killing Robin Hood. <laughs> oh, Grant, you're great. A man after my own heart. <laughs> you know something, Alwyn? He's a born killer. Just looking at him gives me the shivers. Yes, he's just what we need. Listen, Grant, we've got a job for you. We want you to kill Robin Hood. Yes, my lord. If you succeed, you will receive a reward of 100 gold crowns from Prince John himself. And as an extra bonus, a further 100 crowns from Bishop Hartford, making a total of... Um... Oh, wait, you cheat! I never said I'd give my own money! Shut I... up! Good luck, Grant. Ignore this dwarf now. Off you go and bring me back the head of Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> dwarf! Ah, you pimple! <sighs> Where's my dinner? What's this? You've got the whole of Sherwood Forest and all you can bring me is a few nuts? But, Chief, it's dangerous out there, huh? Mm hmm There are soldiers and sheriff's men everywhere. Yeah, that's it. This is all the fault of that Robin Hood. Ever since he's been a wanted man, you can't move in this forest for soldiers. Why can't they all march in the river and drown? Excuse me, Chief, I don't want to interrupt you, but if you got a plan or something, we're starving. Well, you shouldn't be so fat! I'm sorry, Chief, I didn't mean any harm. Ah, shut up, dumb brain, of course I've got a plan! Huh? What is it, Chief? Will you tell us? <laughs> Find anything? Nothing here. It's my fault. You're all hungry because of me. I know it. Don't talk like that, Robin. We're all your friends, you know. If we're gonna be hungry, we'll be hungry together, right? Well, it wouldn't hurt us to lose some weight, Will. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine for us, but I don't know what Jenny's gonna say. Can't you guess, Marion? You said you'd bring me some berries, and you didn't. I hate you. Boo-hoo! <laughs> Now, oh, well, that's cruel. Hmm? Hey, wait a minute. I can smell something. What? Yes, Robin, so can I. It's like something's burning. But where is it coming from? <laughs> it's coming from over here. And soon my poison gas will be everywhere. Robin, I don't feel well. <laughs> Nor me. I'm feeling dizzy. Oh. <clears throat> it must be the smoke. Ugh. Huh? Will, Marion. Robin Hood. Hmm? <laughs> What's the matter? Not breathing too well? Who are you? Your killer. So be prepared to meet your maker, Robin. Uh, 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 <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you see me? That smoke. What is it? Wake up. Come on. Die. I'll get... Uh, <laughs> I 
don't know who you are, stranger, but you made a big mistake. You fool, you're gonna pay for that. Ah. No, those eyes, I, I, I can't. No, no! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, whoa! Uh. Are you all right now, boy? What? You saved us! We owe you our lives! I had to do something. I couldn't leave you there to die. So what are you doing here in the forest, then? I don't know. What? I've completely lost my memory. My past is a total mystery to me. I don't remember anything. That's really awful. You don't remember anything? No, not even my own name. I wander from town to town, trying to find out who I am. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all seem to be pretty hungry. Come on, uh, we'll go and find some food. Mister. Yes? There's no food left in the forest. Believe us, we know. Well, just let me show you. Huh? Oh. Wow. <gasps> it's fantastic. This place is full of fruit, right under our noses. Yeah. Wait till Jenny and Winifred hear about it. <laughs> Mister, how could you know about this place? You say you don't remember, but you must have been here before. You're no fool. Uh, this place makes me feel homesick. I know I've been here before, but I don't know where or even when. I wish I could remember who I was. Maybe we could do something to help jog your memory. You've been so kind to us. Hey, everyone, these apples are so ripe, look! Uh, no, oh no. Oh, that blade, it's just like... Oh. Hey, what's the matter? I remember something. But we must help him. You can help me. I know it. I remember nothing about you, yet somehow I know you have the power to save me. Tell me who I am. Tell me my name. Tell me my destiny, I beg you. Oh, this stomach. I must stop torturing myself. I need to eat. Survival is the most important question. Survival. Hey, Chief, did you mean it when you said you had a plan? Yes, of course I meant it. Don't you believe your Chief now, you little insect? I just happen to have built up a secret supply of food. That food belongs to all of us. You mean you've been hiding our food for yourself, greedy guts? Ah, don't you give me your cheek, you insect. Yeah. Ah. <clears throat> oh, don't hit me, Chief. I just want to have a full belly like yours. Now just shut up and follow me. Not long now, just through those trees. In there. In that cave, you will find oh. the most delicious grub you'll ever ah. swallow. Hey. The steak, but the last one is the guy. Wait for me! Oh. Now let me in for... Uh? Ah! Oh. Oh, look at that. My lovely oh. grub all scuffed! Oh, gee, what can it be? Oh, no. You think so? <laughs> yeah! How could one man eat all this? Yummy! This is wonderful! Oh boy, what a feast! 
feast! I've never seen so much food! But where on earth did you get it all? Hooray for Robin, Will, and Marion! Huh? Oh! What's wrong, Will? Robin? What's wrong with them, Marion? Are you thinking about that man, Robin? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, hey, you, you almost hurt me. Why am I all tied up? Don't you play dumb with me! That food you've just stuffed yourself with happens to belong to me! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know one man needed so much. People might call you fatty. Just watch your mouth. I don't let anyone talk to me like that. I'll have you know I'm the famous bandit, Little John. Hmm. Little John? Yeah, Little John, right? Something wrong with that? No, I don't think so. You don't think so, eh? Boy, you're weird, but that doesn't make any difference. My men are all starving because you scoffed all our food. Hmm. Well, I'm very sorry. Uh, wait a minute. I could make it all up to you if I were to join your gang. Join the gang? Yes, I will work hard until I've earned your forgiveness. Now, what do you say? Hmm. Well, all right. But you'll have to obey me and do anything I say. Got that? Yes, sir. Anything you say, Chief. Yeah. Shake on it, Chief. Like a man. Uh, me, yeah. Halt and prepare to be robbed. Whoa, hold steady there. Stand and deliver. You are being robbed in the name of the famous, uh, mm, uh, uh, huh? uh, what's the fat one's name? Come down here, will ya? <laughs> yes, of course. <clears throat> right. In the name of the famous Little John and much the Batmaster, my name is Bear the Unbeatable. Well, now you're under arrest. Now hold it there, you men. Hmm. You can't use force against children. He's crazy, Captain. Wait, hear me out. We don't want to steal your entire load. We just want something to eat. These poor young things with me are nearly starving. Impossible. This food belongs to Baron Alwyn. It must be delivered to him immediately. Baron Alwyn could never eat it all by himself. There's enough there to feed everyone handsomely. Go on, Captain. Just a couple of cabbages. We won't tell the Baron about you. That's it! Charge! Mm. Get him! <laughs> oh. Hey, let's play a little game, huh? Uh, hey, put me down! There you are. Get out of here, you madman! Run for it! Wait, man. You left the Baron's food. <laughs> Incredible! Wow! <laughs> We've got Chubby's full of fat. Hey, Baron Owen, what about that? I can't eat no more. Me the peaches. Oh, this is great. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I've never eaten a steak before. Mmm. Boy, am I clever or what? Getting that big guy in the gang? Bear, tell me. You swore loyalty and devotion to me, didn't you? Of course, Chief. Little John is always the boss, right? You must do as I tell you. Of course, Chief. <laughs> that guy's so big he could frighten an army. And now he's in my gang, I can start to enjoy myself at last. <laughs> Robin, listen to this. Remember that big man who saved us? He's been seen going around with Little John. Are you saying that he's joined the outlaws? <laughs> hey, Bear, that was a very nice breakfast. Now go and get my lunch. Of course, Chief. Goodbye and good hunting. <laughs>
You're getting huh? fat, Chief. You never do any work anymore, do you? Well, what I'd like to know is what's going on around here, huh? Shut up, Ninny. It's me who gives the orders around here, and you guys do all the work. It's not easy being a leader. I'm tired already. Where's my lunch? But if you eat any more, you'll go bang! Look at that stomach! It's bigger than you are! Why don't you come on a raid with us occasionally? You need the exercise. Hey! Don't tell me how to be a good bandit, pimple face! Ouch! Oh! Mm. Mm. Really? Hey, what's the matter? Merch? Hmm. Well, he's got a point. I guess I have to put on a couple of pounds. Maybe I should do a bit of exercise. Hmm. Hey, Bear, how do you like life in the forest, huh? Life in the forest is great. We're not frightened of anything, right? Right! Hmm. <laughs> hey, Bear! Huh? Mm -hmm. Ah, we meet again. That's right. And I want to know how a good man like you could let himself become an outlaw. <laughs> Don't get excited. I had a reason for what I did. Yeah, listen, he's right, Robin. You tricked him, didn't you? Yeah, I bet it's all your fault. Wait a minute, Robin, listen. This man is Bear the Unbeatable. Bear the Unbeatable? Yeah, that's right. That's what the Chief called him. Anyway, like I was saying, he had reasons to Quite join... Quite much. I've heard all this before. There's no excuse for being a criminal. And talking of criminals, where's little John? Uh, here I come! No! Mm. <laughs> okay, Robin. Why don't you just clear off? Why don't you make me? Now, wait, you two. Listen to me. It's all my fault. You see, I ate all their food, and when I found out, I I thought, well, I'd better do something to make amends. So I decided to join them to help them out a little. What? So now you know. Maybe now you'll clear off. Not just yet, little John. This man has lost his memory, so he wouldn't know any better. But you took advantage of him, didn't you? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Bear wanted to join the gang, so I said he could. Now, for the last time, will you get lost? I'm going, but Bear comes with me. <sighs> He's so pig-headed. Hold on, Chief. And Robin, don't worry about us. We're not bandits anymore, thanks to Bear. Not bandits? Huh? Not bandits? Mm-hmm. It's the truth. Right, boys? Yeah! yeah! You see, we were out stealing the other day when Bear decided to teach us something. A merchant had got his wagon stuck in the mud. Now, normally we would rob him, but Bear was trying to help him, so we just had to join in. Come on, all together. <laughs> the merchant was so grateful, he just gave us some food. After that, we helped lots of people coming through the forest, and they always gave us something for our help. We made people happy, and we were handsomely rewarded. Bear was right. Stealing is really dumb. It's much better to be nice to people, then they'll help you out, too. That's what Bear taught us. And it works, doesn't it, guys? Yeah! You've got it, Much. <laughs> How dare you? You did that behind my back. I ought to knock out your teeth. Uh -oh. Why are you looking at me like that? Little John, why don't you join us and do things our way? You'll be much better off than you would be stealing. You can't fool me. You'll only eat well by robbing. Right? No, Chief. Wrong. That food didn't come from robbery. You're fat now because of the food and drink we got for you. And that was all given to us by grateful villagers. Huh? Little John, much is right. Bear has taught us all a lesson. You don't have to steal and rob to have the good things in life. Why don't you give up being an outlaw? You can be just as well fed by being honest. Or are you afraid of that? Ah! I'll show you, smarty pants! Mind you don't trip. Look out! Ha, 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 ha,
<laughs> Out of my way! Hey, come leave back, him. little Joe. I hope he'll understand sooner or later, but for now, I think it's best to leave him alone. He'll understand one day. If that day ever comes, I'll eat my hat. Robin, we'd love you to come and eat with us. I don't mind if I do, Bear. Robin, you've made a very powerful friend. You'll never beat me, Robin Hood. One day you'll admit I was right. Robin! You'll never defeat me, never! John, on the run from his own gang, has become a dangerous outlaw. And a deadly assassin has sworn to take the life of Robin Hood. Sinister events in Sherwood threaten the lives of Robin Hood and all his friends. What is the power of the big man's talisman? And will he help Robin to defeat his enemies? Or has he been finally beaten? The murderers are closing in on Sherwood Forest. Is it too late for Robin? Find out in the next episode of Robin Hood. <laughs>